Hi everyone. Welcome to Candlewick at Home. My name is Marcella Pixley and I wrote a book called Trowbridge Road, which is coming out from Candlewick Press on October 6th. Trowbridge Road is about a girl named Junebug who's 11 years old. Junebug might be a little bit like some of you. She's got a lot on her mind and she doesn't always like to talk about what's on her mind and so it becomes a secret that weighs her down and holds her back. Something that you should know about Junebug is that she's got a really good memory. And another thing that you should know about Junebug is she's got an even better imagination. And her imagination has the ability to set her free from the things that haunt her. So today, what I want to talk to you about is a writing activity that uses your memory and your imagination to come up with fiction, and it's called Making a Memory Box. The first thing that you need to do when you're making a memory box is find a box. And I love boxes, and so I've got lots of boxes in my house. I even keep boxes from my childhood, and this box was one of my toy boxes when I was a little girl. If you've got a wooden box, you can use that but it doesn't have to be anything special. You can just use a cardboard box or a tissue box. You can decorate it or not, it's up to you. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk around your house and look for stuff. And you're gonna look for things that either make you remember something or that make you imagine something. And if you find something that does one of those things, you're gonna put it in your box and you're gonna keep it. And when you're done, you start taking the things out and looking at them and seeing what they make you remember, and also seeing what they make you imagine. So in my box, I have this hook that used to be on the stairs of my childhood home, and I remember that I used to spend a lot of time looking at this wise old face of this elephant and thinking, how long has this elephant been sitting on the stairway? And what must he have seen in this old, old house? And another thing that I found is this horseshoe. And I found this horseshoe during a time in my life where I really felt like I needed some luck. I was down on my luck. And I heard that horseshoes make you lucky. And I used to imagine that the magic was coming down from the sides of this horseshoe and I could catch it in my hand and I could catch the magic. Maybe you're gonna find something that makes you excited to write a story. And the story could be something that comes from your imagination, or it can be a story that comes from your memory. Try it sometime when you're home and you want something to do. See what comes. Start with the object, the horseshoe, the girl who was down on her luck and needed to find something to make herself feel lucky with the magic coming down, and start writing. And you just might write a story. And your story just might make you feel brave and courageous and creative. If you do write a story and you want to share it with me, I would love to read it. You can send it to me, Care of Candlewick Press. So here's how you do it. <laughs> That'll help to see it, right? Okay, so here it is, Marcella Pixley, Care of Candlewick Press. 99 Dover Street, Somerville, Massachusetts, 02144. Um, send it to me, and I'll cheer you on, and I'll help you stay on the path as a writer if you want to keep on writing. So, happy writing. I hope that the stories you write make you feel creative and courageous. And I hope that you enjoy Trowbridge Road and that you get to know Junebug Jordan. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye.